I'm Gene Brown, uh, the end project engineering manager for Holcomb Energy Systems, and I've got an ILPG, an inline power generator, 40 kilowatt right here. I'm going to be doing some testing with this, uh, demonstrating the source of the AC. The regulated source can come from either the power company, a generator, a uh, converter from solar systems. And in this case, I'm going to be running it off a diesel generator that we have outside. You can see the lines coming through. We're using this electric power to basically excite the iron in the inline power generator. The generator will take the rest of the load itself. Uh, so the ILPG sits between this power source and the electrical load. So I'm going to start the system now. All right, I'm going to turn on the output power now. Now we should have power running to the load through this cable over to our test area. Now we're coming into the system. We've got our 208 three phase uh, power coming from the generator into the input side. And what I will do as it comes through, I'm going to turn on this bank of motors. There's one of the bigger, the five horse three phase motor power take off uh, large pulley some resistive light banks three phase motors with some with uh, power take off generators with loads some just unloaded and we should be able to see some results over here get this uh, input here this is coming off the generator we've got about 4.3 kilowatts at a 9.5 power factor, about 14 amps a leg, and, and that is coming into the generator, the ILPG generator, and then the output going to the load is about 22 amps, 7.8 kW, and almost a perfect power factor there. Static load, but it's um, a load that the application is a mix of different types, inductive, reactive, and capacitive, and, and some resistive, so it gives you a little bit of everything. And um, it just kind of shows, now I can duplicate this same result with the three phase being supplied by the inverter or that same three phase being supplied by uh, the, the local power company, Florida Power and Light. So the source of the power doesn't matter as long as it's a regulated 50 or 60 hertz AC power, we can use a little bit of that. It excites the, the iron, basically the generator functions as an it. We, that's why we call it the inline power generator because it sits in line between the, the source and the load. But that little bit of AC magnetizes the field between the two stators, two concentric stators, and then there we go.